Greetings and salutations. Welcome to another Club Guide. Today we're looking at Benfica. It was one of those suggested in the comments and I had a look at their team and jeez, they've got some amazing young talent. I couldn't believe how many players, for one, they've got, but how many good young talent. So this is helpful for you guys that are thinking of managing Benfica. It's something a bit different. Not many people are doing it in Portugal, but also... If you're looking to buy young, good players, there's going to be a number of players in there that you might be able to poach away from Benfica. They're not the richest club in the world, so they shouldn't be the most expensive. So, quick introduction. My name's Loki Doki. I have my own YouTube channel, which is in the description below. There's a link there. Go check it out. Um, I'm a fellow football manager, YouTube creator. That's what we're called, isn't it now? Creators, YouTuber. Um, and I've uh, been doing a few videos for FM Scout, did the AC Milan one and the Rangers club guide. So now I'm looking at Benfica. So let's take a look. So these guides are basically going to be from top to bottom. We're looking at finances, how much we've got to spend. We're then going to go and look into the team itself, the players. Look at the youth team, which is going to be the big one, I think, on this one. Also, we're going to look at what they expect us to achieve this season. So here I am, got an email saying I've got the job. Very nice. I'm going to murder the names. So, yeah. Don't worry about that. So, as part of the club's vision, the board expects you to develop players using the club's youth system. Perfectly fine. When you see these youth players, that's not a problem. So, let's look. Transfers. These are how many transfers we've got out on loan at the moment. It's kind of ridiculous. Uh, only one big injury. We'll go through these when we get them. So, first up, we'll look at the um, what they expect us to achieve this season. So, we're in the Champions League, which is always nice. Always a fun challenge. Small team in the Champions League. So, in the Premier League, um, win. Okay, I think we're second favourites. So, uh, that's quite a challenge, first season. The Taca de Portugal, I'm going to say the FA Cup. Um, they don't care. Okay, they don't care about that one. Uh, and they don't care about that one. Okay, so that is obviously the perfect time to use some of these youngsters that we got in the team. So, next up we have the Champions League. Well, they're, <laughs> they're realistic. They're saying, look, we're, we're not going to get beyond it. So I think maybe if you could maybe get out of your group stage and then maybe come second or third in the league, they might be okay with that. It gives you some leeway or do well in one of the cups. Next up, we're going to look at finances. So we've got night just over £9 million in the bank, and they've got given us £11.5 million to spend. I'll take that very much. Thank you very much. £36,000 a week left in wages, so not too much, but we're probably going to sell a few people. At the end of this sort of guide, what I'll do is I'll um, re record another video that's basically transfers, and I'll stick it on the end. So at the end of this video, there's going to be another bit where I do the transfers that I want to do, that if I was taking over this save that I'd make, um, give you guys some ideas or some horrible decisions. It might be. Next up, let's look at the team. So much like a lot of European teams, we have a main squad, and then we have a B team. And then we also have our under 19s. So let's have a look at the main squad. I'm not going to go through every player in big detail, just to get a broad overview of the team. So let's look at goalkeepers. We've got Julio Cesar, ex QPR keeper, 35 years old, still very good. Decent one on ones, reflexes, handling's good. Yeah, very good goalkeeper still. Um, it's been there a couple of seasons now. I think very good first choice keeper for maybe another year or two. Then we've got Edison as our young back backup, and he's fine for a backup. I don't think he's ever going to be spectacular, but he'll do perfectly well as a backup. Next up, so looking at the sort of, we'll go into tactics as well. So we'll sort of, I'll talk you through maybe a basic tactic that you might want to start with, depending on what, what we see in this team. So next up, we're going to look at right and left backs. So um, Andre Almeida, Almeida. Um, is a right back, also play left back and central midfield. Um, one of those players that's kind of decent everything without being spectacular. Decent squad player to have because of his versatility. That's all I can really say about him. Uh, we've got Silvio on loan from... Uh, <laughs> third season on loan from Atletico Madrid. Interesting, we've loaned him three years but we've barely played him. Interesting. Um, right back and a left back. Again, another decent backup. He's 27 years old now. Um, backup is about as good as he is, but yeah, at least he can play both sides, so that's helpful. Next up, we've got Nelson Semedo. This guy looks fantastic. Um, and you'll see what the tactic I've built because of mainly the two 
the, the two fullbacks. I've had a quick look at the team, but he's pacey. His natural fitness is 16. His stamina is 14. So he's going to run all day long. He's good going forward as well as defensively. I'm going to play him as a an attacking fullback, 100%. He's just built for it. He looks fantastic. Only 21 years old. Um, yeah, spectacular young player. Next up, we've got LCU, who's basically um, an old version <laughs> of the other guy, but plays on the left. Another very good attacking fullback. That's how I'm going to play. Um, still got another year or two left in him. Decent long shots, unusual as well. Both can play on the left side of midfield as well, on the right side of midfield. Um, and obviously Silvio, who we looked at. So there are four fullbacks. Um, is that okay? I, 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 Samido's just amazing. I'm going to add him to my shortlist on my lead save in case because he's going to be brilliant. But LCU, it's not too bad. They're very attacking minded, so that's definitely something to think about if you're going to when building a tactic for them. Next up, we'll look at centre backs. So we've got Lusal, Lusal, 34 year old Brazilian, 44 caps for Brazil, a beast of a player. He's going to be your captain. Pretty much 20 leadership, uh, 15 teamwork, 16 work rate, captain material all day long. Very good player. His pace is obviously dropping off now. He's getting a bit old, but it's probably okay for him one more season or two. Six foot four. He's a big towering centre back. Very nice. He's going to get the odd sending off. He argues with officials. He's got 16 aggression. But I, I like the look of him. Very good. Next up, we've got Jardel. 29 years old Brazilian. Obviously in Portugal they do get a lot of Brazilians, speak the same language, so you get a lot of Brazilians in Portugal. Um, another good, really good centre-back, just a solid all-round centre-back. Uh, 29 though, so they're on the older side, These those two. And then next up we've got Lissandro Lopez, who's Argentinian. Um, he's <clears throat> okay for a third choice. I might look to sell him, depending on who he can bring in. He's valued at £5 million, um, but he's okay as a third choice, I think. And there are only three centre-backs in the first team, so that's a little bit worrying. That that's definitely needs strengthening. So next up, we're going to look at central midfielders. <clears throat> We've got, oh Jesus, Ljubo. Okay, him. <clears throat> He's 26-year-old Serbian. He's a defensive midfielder all day long. Uh, Ball-winning midfielder is his ideal role. Defensive midfielder. Decent player. I like his mentals. Uh, not the paciest. 26 years old, coming into his peak. Not a bad player at all. Then we've got Andreas Samaris. Tw another 26-year-old Greek. Absolute quality player. This look guy looks really good for a good few seasons. Um, can play both defensive mid and centre mid. He's a box-to-box -box midfielder. I, he, he's going to be a central to my plans this year. I'm going to use a box-to-box -box midfielder in my tactic, I think. Um, this guy's just kind of good at everything, really. Very nice. Next up, we've got Brian... Cristante, Cristante, um, deep line playmaker, not too bad, he's only 20 years old, so he's got bags of potential, 20 years old, that is very good, good passer, good vision, kind of a Gerard-esque player in the making, it seems, deep line playmaker or advanced playmaker seems to be as well, very good, going to give him plenty of game time this season. Next up, in the central midfield, we've got... These are all over the place. So we'll just look through and down in the list. So we'll just go to the next one. Eduardo Salvio. He's out for eight months with damage cruciate ligaments. Take that into consideration. But he looks an absolute beast of a player. Really pacey winger. Um, can play as an inside forward, which is, I love that role. I'm probably going to play that role, I think. And he can do it very well. Once with ball down the right, gets into opponent opposition area. Knocks ball past opponent. He's got a long flat throw. Good for him. Rory de Lapp with skill. That's what we'll call him. Uh, valued at 21 million. Um, he's been at the club for a number of seasons now. Definitely a quality player, but remember, he's going to be out for eight months. Bear that in mind. Next up, we've got Nicholas Gatian. Gatan. Um, left winger. <clears throat> Very good. I'm quite happy with him. Um, four star. I do. They've got some good players, I'm surprisingly. So he tries killer balls often, curls balls, arrives late in the opponent's area cuts inside from both wings so that suggests inside forward runs with the ball often um is dribbling 17 so that's fine go for it mate flare 18 dribbling 17 yeah run all you like uh vision oh, yeah, this guy is quality just still got 12 finishing yeah absolute beast of a player so these those two there look like um quality players did i miss him 
Goncalo Guadez, um, only 18 years old, another bright talent at the club. Um, decent, obviously not as good as the first two we looked at, but a decent all-rounder, and he's only going to get better at 18 years old. Filip Juricic, he's an a advanced playmaker, attacking midfielder. Plays his shot, plays 1-2, cuts inside from both wings. So it's an inside forward role again, it looks like. Uh, 23 years old, he's not too bad. Lacking a bit physically, pace, not that much pace. Not too bad, so maybe somebody else looking to sell if I needed to bring money in. Next up we've got Pizzi, 25 year old Portuguese attacking midfielder. Not too bad. Um, good all rounder without being spectacular. Kind of at the peak of his sort of powers at the moment, but he's all right. Not nothing spectacular. He's wanted. There's definitely a few players that you could look to move on for some decent money if you decided to rebuild the team. Next up, we got Talisca. He's a 21 year old Brazilian, another attacking midfielder, and another good all rounder. Not too bad. Next up, we have Mebdi Carcella. Carcella, 26 year old Moroccan, ten caps from Morocco. Um, pff, decent pace. He's not too bad. He's only valued at 2.5. The scouts don't really rate him, but he's not too bad. There's a few mental aspects of his game that's lacking. Work rate's low. Teamwork, decision making. Yeah. There's a few weaknesses in his game, definitely. Obviously, he never tackled, save his but Paul Skull's level of tackling. Runs with the ball often. Not too bad. Next up, we've got Victor Andrade. 19-year-old uh, Brazilian. Another one with bags of talent. And a Good talent is flair winger shoots from distance with long shots of 12 that's not ideal for somebody with that preferred move but he's not too bad next down uh, we got somebody a lot of people are gonna know Adel Tarapt um, the troubled Moroccan let's call him <laughs> but I still think he's a very good player um, if you can, as long as you can keep him happy and playing I think he'll do a fine job for you he, you could catch it he's got some random stats he likes playing inside forward but his finishing is only 10 um, yeah, and his mental game is all over the place as you'd expect. I'm, I'm probably going to move him on just for the. We can't move him on yet. Fine, we'll keep him till January, and then I'll probably look to move him on just for the safety of the rest of the team. I think. Next up, we're going for more the striker positions. Uh, this is Jonas, 31-year-old Brazilian, eight caps for Brazil. Is he in? Uh, had him for a couple of seasons. Banged in the goals last season. 20 goals in 27 games. Oh, that's my Brazilian team kits, by the way. They just. For some reason, they're just giant. I'll fix that one day when I can remember. Next up, we've got Kostas Mitroglou, who on loan from Olympiakos. Um, banged in the goals last year. Well, in the Greece Super League. I could bang in the goals in the Greece Super League. Um, but he's a decent target man. Six foot two. Decent all-rounder. Bit of a lack of acceleration there. But not too bad. Um, I don't know how much of his wages we're paying. Um, okay, not too bad. Decent. We can get him for five million as a future fee, but I probably, probably won't bother. Next, lastly, we've got Raúl Jiménez, twenty-four-year-old Mexican, and he's a decent player. Really good mental stats. Physicals are okay. Good finishing. Not too bad. But plays best as a poacher. It's good to have some options on the bench for different roles. Anyway, right. So that's it. So not a bad team whatsoever. I think. Our fullbacks are very attacking, so that's take that into account when building a tactic. Um, we need I like four centre backs. I like basically two for every position, so I'd like another centre back. Um, central midfield, I think we're fine. We've got lots of options. I think we can thin down. I like quite a small playing squad. I think I might thin down this um, bunch of sort of wingers. Maybe loan one out, loan the youngster out, um, and get rid of a couple. And then, uh, but I think overall good team so what i'll do now is i'll go into the youth team have a look we won't look for every player we're just going to look at like maybe the top one or two talents and then um i'll build a tactic and then i'll make my transfers that i would make and then we'll come back so let's go for the youth team we'll just look at the top two tactics as i said we have got a ton of players a literal ton ridiculous um we'll have a look at the top guy here his name's jonathan rodriguez 21 years old a Uruguayan, seven caps for Uruguay, 21. That's pretty spectacular. And he's a very good all round player. Um, plays best as advanced forward or poacher. Really good. Where's he on loan at? 
He's off to Deportivo. Not sure how many games he'll get there. Best to keep an eye on it. But he's actually a bright talent. I would like him very much. Definitely come back and at least be back up next season. And then finally, you've got our B team. Another massive, ridiculous team. Um, we'll just look at the... See, we've got four. This is the big one, you see. We've got four players that are possible five-star. And then another three who are possible four-and-a-half-star. Which is which is ridiculous. Right, Z Gomez, 16 years old. Is a, that's ridiculous for a 16-year-old. Um, I know he does make a lot of the sort of short lists for Wonder Kids, uh, possible Wonder Kids, but this guy looks spectacular for a 16-year-old. Next up, we've got Rento Sanchez, a defensive uh, central midfielder or attacking midfielder, 17 years old, and another beast of a young player. 17 determination, which is good. Shoots with power, dictates tempo, runs with the ball often, gets into your position area. That is amazing for a 17-year-old. <laughs> Next up, we've got Yoe. I never know how to pronounce that. Yo Carvalho, um, 18 years old, attacking midfielder, and he can play also as an inside forward. And he's pretty decent. Probably not quite as good as the other two, um, but still a massive talent. Next up, we have Bilal Old Chica. <laughs> Really, really. 17-year-old Dutch guy. Um, another quality prospect. Really plays best as an inside four, but massively versatile. Pretty much can play anywhere in midfield or up front. These are ridiculous talents. I don't think I've ever seen a team like it. I'll leave the last three to you for you to discover. I'll have a look at one because he's wanted. I just want... Jesus Christ, we've got a good youth team. If, you, if you're one of those guys that enjoys playing... Like my favorite, one of my favorite things in Football Manager is to build a like youth prospects and bring your own players through. This is the team for you, really. Let me just have a look at our facilities because obviously that's very important. So our training facilities, state of the art. You've got top youth facilities. You've got ex excellent youth junior coaching, excellent youth recruitment, as you'd expect, because those players are just ridiculous. <laughs> Some of these could go in the first team. I really think. Right, so what we'll do is I'll leave it there and I'll cut back to me in about an hour's time and I'll build a basic tactic, not something that's just like, use this guy as it wins. Just something maybe you can use to start with and then tweak and make changes to. And I'm also going to make some sales, make some purchases, and then uh, that'll be it. So I'll see you shortly. Welcome back. Right, we've done all our transfers, pretty much. There might be one or two more maybe before the transfer window closes, but... We're pretty much done, I think. We'll go through a tactic that I've kind of built, ready for it to go, and also the transfers, ins and outs that we've done so far. This is kind of how I would play it, probably. There's going to be a few players you recognise on the transfer list. There is some sort of younger players that have um, touted a lot this year in FN. There's one player in particular that I kind of always buy if I can, because he's just amazing for the price. You might have already guessed him from that. But let's have a look what we've done. Uh, the first thing I'm going to look at is future transfers. This guy, uh, Franco Servi, um, this is already a done deal. When you when you load the game, when you add yourself as a manager, this guy is already coming for three and a half million next year. Um, I didn't realise until just a minute ago. But he's a 21-year-old Argentinian, and he's pretty good. We'll take that. That's kind of a freebie. But the two guys we've bought in, um, we've got... Because obviously I'm going to continue to the tradition of bringing in, because obviously they speak Portuguese, bringing in Brazilian and Argentinian players um, to the squad. Um, and it kind of how it works in Europe is basically they become feeder teams for then, <laughs> you know, Brazilian comes in, young kid, does well at one of these Portuguese clubs and then gets poached by one of the bigger European teams. It's kind of how it seems to go. So we'll continue that tradition. Um, first up, we've got Gulam. Um, he's a really good young defender at defensive midfielder only 17 years old I just really liked him he didn't cost that much I think 600,000 um, just a bags of potential he's coming in next year was it 600,000 yeah 600,000 and Kleber who's 300,000 who is immense he's 16 years old guys seriously 16 years old <laughs> when I normally I don't do much transfers from Brazil um in my english saves just the odd one really but because of obviously i want to sort of continue the theme of these portuguese clubs so i did a lot of scouting in in brazil and this guy come up and i was just like okay we're having him so yeah he's joining next year 
But the players we've got in, uh, we've got four players in. You probably recognise, well, if you're an FM fan, you've probably recognised all of them. Um, really happy with these. This one's, an, I will go through. This is the one I was talking about. Christoph, Christopher Ayer, Ayer, however you want to pronounce it. If you can get him, just get him. I think I'll get him for £1.2 million. Pounds. Uh, he's only on six grand a week. He only wants three grand a week. Um, I think something like that to begin with but then a lot of big clubs are instantly in for him so just offer him six grand and he'll join immediately reject all the other clubs this guy six foot five absolute beast plays down the spine of the team can play as your ball winning midfielder or playmaker he can do everything he's absolutely fantastic 17 years old very happy with that next up we got because we needed that fourth central defender so we've got Emmanuel Mamana uh, Argentinian 19 years old, one cap already for uh, Argentina, just bags and bags of talent, absolutely really well-rounded player, um, could work a little bit on his heading I suppose, um, he's not the tallest centre-back in the world so maybe that's something you need to look at but other than that he is just immense possible five-star talent, picked him up for 3.4 million, then we got Christian Pavon from Boca, we play with the inside forward role and this guy just suits it down to a T, he's a fantastic talent, a lot of big clubs again were after him. I didn't uh, didn't even notice him until sort of I think Chelsea or Tottenham were interested in him. I was like, okay, grab him quick. Um, another one you can just eight, give him a little bit more wages than he's asking for. He's only on eight and a half grand, and uh, he'll join you immediately from the other big clubs. Keep him away. And lastly, this is an interesting one. Jonathan Silver. He was one of my favourite signings in last year's FM, and he's still a very good youngster. But I bought him from Sporting, which is our arch rivals, which. Yeah, that didn't go down too well. Forgot about that as I was signing him, but he's still a quality player. I wanted somebody um, with our attacking fullback system, which we'll look at in a second. Um, yeah, we wanted somebody that could fill that role, and he is absolutely superb. And he's got a big, wide open mouth. That's a lovely photo they got of him. He's doing his blowjob face. Right. Um, the outs. Um, a couple of outs. So we've got Pizzi to Monaco for five million. Uh, not a bad player. But what we what we brought in, I think we could easily sell him. Quite happy with that. Uh, Taliska to Hoffenheim uh, again, another good player with decent prospects. He's only young, but we can we can do better. This is kind of had to raise money really for for the main team. And finally, Victor Andrade. He's pretty decent. He's only nineteen years years old. It's possible four stars. So I wasn't that bothered. So just in case, I sold him to. There was a lot of big clubs after him, so as soon as I knew that, I was like, okay, we'll do a big sell-on fee just in case, um, you know, he does make it and I made a horrible, horrible mistake. But that's it. So I managed to get, only spend about £4 million, I think, in uh, or £3 million. Wow, my maths. So I was very happy with that. And finally, the only other change I really made to the team um, was Renato Sanchez, one of our super-duper youngsters, I bought, called up to the senior team because he's amazing. The others I decided to give them a full season in the B team, see how they get on, see how they develop. But this guy's going to get game straight away, so. And he's got quality hair, so, you know, why would you not bring him up? So let's have a quick look at the tactic. Um, this is based on my lead save on my channel. This is based on that, basically. Uh, with slight changes. Um, I normally. I wanted to try sort of packing out the midfield normally I'd play um, I do play with one defensive midfielder so this guy would just drop to here um, but I wanted to try it with a more congested midfield see if we can win the battles in midfield there um, if it's not working then I'd probably drop that down but apart from that so we've got Samaras who's our box-to-box -box midfielder all day long um, really happy with how this is sitting uh, Fedsa is a really is a decent defensive midfielder um, so he's just going to he can play ball winning midfielder in defensive midfield, but we would just wanted to learn that in central midfield. Like I said, if it's not working, I'm just going to drop that back. Christoph Ayer can play pretty much anywhere in these three positions. Um, he's playing advanced forward, uh, advanced playmaker at the time. Jonas up front, uh, mainly due to the fact he stormed it last season. He's a complete forward, perfect for the role. Inside forwards. So the idea is that you get the fullbacks on attack, uh, bombing past. Uh, midfield we're looking for the overlap inside forwards cut in to support the main man at the front and you score goals um, play at a higher tempo try and retain the possession a bit more you know we want to we're one of the best teams in this league so we want to dominate so we want to control the game 
Um, so we want to keep the ball. We're going to play a fairly narrow, so that sort of squidges it all together a bit, and that allows the fullbacks to bomb on because they're playing nice and wide still. And that's kind of it. Like I said, this is just a basic tactic. I just kind of clicked buttons that seem to suit it. But if you want, you know, start that. And then if you decide, you know, I'm going to make tweaks. If I was to play on, then I'd be making tweaks all over the place. And, you know, it might do horribly badly and I have to rejig the whole thing. But I think, like I said, the main difference is dropping that defensive midfielder back there. And that's it. I hope you like the guide. Please drop us a like. Um, please check out my channel, Loki Doki. I've got tons of football manager content i've got a lead save and a, um, create a club mode called youtube fc it's quite funny um, and i also do lots of guides if you're looking for other team guides i've got every single premiership team done as a guide like this and also a couple of the german teams i'm doing loads more so check me out there and check fm scout for tons more lovely com content content i was gonna say comment but that makes no sense and also please leave in the comments if you want to see more what teams you want to see next that I can do a guide for. This was suggested by one of you guys. So if you suggest a team and I might well do it. Thank you very much for joining me guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much. Love you all. Bye bye.